when they received that phone call from the eye doctor and they showed up, I think I think they knew that maybe okay. there was, you know, something, more wrong. something really wrong and yeah. eventually an answer. But I believe the grace is still yet to come. I won't stop by the name until I'm done. And in the middle, it is our true privilege, pleasure uh, to have Sean Santarico. Uh, Sean uh, is a former player for us at Rutgers. And in addition to being probably one of my favorite all time personalities, is uh, one of the most inspirational dudes you're ever going to meet. Um, I know the Golf Channel did a feature on Sean, and I remember we were on CBS together with uh, UT yep. Washington, I believe, yep. in Philadelphia <clears throat> with, uh, with Sean. Sean has battled, uh, uh, we'll get to what Sean has battled, but we, we, uh, he and I have a certain kinship. Um, we've both had some medical issues over the years. For those of you who know me, I mean, I battled from uh, a tumor in my head and then a rare heart surgery, and um, I've battled through a lot of things in my life, but, you know, Sean, in the prime of his life, uh, coming into college, I guess in 2013-14, yeah. <coughs> uh, came to Rutgers and had a whole, whole series of issues. And I have not met someone who's battled quite the way Sean has to get where he is today. So I guess with that said, I, I don't want to tell your story. I, I'd rather yeah. have you tell your story. So please, uh, starting from when we met in 2013, enlighten our viewing Definitely. audience. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. Thanks so much. This is this is a this is a cool setup. Happy to happy to be on here. Um, so yeah, um, basically it all started for me in the summer of 2012. Started experiencing significant uh, stomach issues um, and was rapidly losing weight because I was you know couldn't keep food down, any liquids down even for so long. And make a long story short, that really just kind of continued for about 18 months. Um, I was still going to... We thought it was a stomach issue at that point, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. You were running into the woods getting sick and yep. wondering, you know, what, 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 we thought it was like an ulcer or something. Like yes, that. yeah. I mean, I I went to, I went and got second, third, fourth opinions at I different remember. places. And the entire time, they're just kind of checking out my stomach because those were my really only symptoms was I couldn't keep food down. I was lethargic and I kept, you know, vomiting no matter where I was. I was a senior in high school at the time when it first started. Um, you know, finished classes and everything, showed up, and then, you know, then I met you. Yeah. Um, I didn't make him sick, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, didn't I, was, I was sick. I, people, I was yeah. sick prior. Okay. Yeah, but, um, <clears throat> I mean, my senior year of high school, I was, like I said, still going to class. I was playing on the golf team there, trying to, to keep up with, you know, being a, a senior in high school, doing all the fun things. But um, there were many times where I just really couldn't, couldn't push through it. So um, <clears throat> whether I was golfing, I was running off into the woods, getting sick, but I was always trying to push through. Just wanted to, to be out there and live a normal life, compete. I was fortunate enough to then meet uh, Coach Cardia and, um, you know, end up going to Rutgers Camden, still being sick and um, really proud of myself, too, that I was able to kind of push through and still compete at, you know, a relatively high level um, and take it on to Rutgers Camden. Yeah, because at that point the team was still, I mean, well, we, we went through, what, nine out of 11 years where we made the, the national right. championship. We were all one of those teams. Yeah, yeah. right. I still remember I, uh, when you called me to tell me this, but please you continue yeah. it. I, I remember we were on the team bus. That's I right. guess we were at maybe conference championships yes. or something when yeah, you yeah. called me, yeah. And I had to break the news to the team, but you, please, don't go. Yeah, no, you're, you're good. Um, and then, yeah, so it started probably, or continued, I mean, through probably fall of 2014, where, you know, still just getting second, third, fourth opinions, still just my stomach being treated, not looking elsewhere, until eventually I remember being on the golf course and being in class. First on the golf course, I started experiencing, I started seeing two golf balls. Yeah. Looking up at the flag, I started seeing two flags. In class, I was seeing two of my professors when there was only one. Mm -hmm. Um, so <clears throat> I immediately, you know, talked to my parents and said, I'm having these vision changes and it's pretty constant. It wasn't just sporadic. I'd, all of a sudden, anywhere I looked, it was just double vision. <clears throat> so I went to the eye doctor, um, on a Thursday and, uh, he looked, uh, in my eye and said that my optic nerve was just incredibly swollen and inf inflamed. And <clears throat> I was at the appointment by myself locally, thankfully. And, uh, he uh, sat me down and said, uh, Asked if my parents were around, mm. so right away that was uh, red flag. that was a red flag, <laughs> and um, <clears throat> I knew I knew the 
constant struggle that of course I faced, but then my parents faced too, because they were the ones taking me to my appointments and, you know, were obviously so upset to see me going through what I was going through and not getting anywhere for so long. Yeah. So when they received that phone call from the eye doctor and they showed up, I think, I think they knew that maybe okay. there was, you know, something, more wrong. something really wrong and yeah. eventually an answer. So, like I said, that was on a Thursday, and he said something with the optic nerve, something, nothing that he can really help with. He ordered an immediate MRI that I had the next day on Friday, which revealed uh, a brain tumor in my fourth ventricle around my cerebellum area. Um, ironically, the size of about a golf ball, I was told. Irony. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Irony. <laughs> Um, so like I said, that was, that was found in MRI imaging on a Friday and I stayed in the hospital throughout the weekend cause my, my surgery team wasn't comfortable sending me home once they saw that and I was in for surgery on Monday. Yeah. So it all happened. So did you call really me quick. from the hospital? Is that what you called me from? I think I called you Friday evening okay. once I was like admitted, checked right. in. I, I remember like it was yeah. yesterday cause we were on the bus. We just got back on the team. It was dark out. And, and uh, I, I got the news, and I, did, I told the team, and it's like, you know, you, you remember where you were when something right. happened, yeah, yeah. and I remember telling the team that, and it was just like one of those moments where everybody just like sat back, like, wow, that's yeah. like, you know, because you never expect that at no. your age. You know, right. It, it, was, it was definitely a, a sobering moment, for sure. Yeah, yeah. for sure. See, I, I do remember making those phone calls to a lot of my, a lot of my people, and of course, Wanted to tell you, but I was, I remember I was hesitant because I think you had success at that tournament. Uh, we did. Tournament. We the conference yeah, conference. so I was like, oh, do I want to break the news yeah, right it's, now. It's okay. That's, you know, <laughs> um, what, it's certain, like, I know, I, I always kid around saying, you know, when I recruit people, I want people that will push grandma down the stairs to win. <laughs> uh, it's a metaphor. I don't really yeah, want yeah. <laughs> Like, health and life is much more important. I was about yeah. to go do that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, Richie did. That's why I was here. <laughs> Sounds like something Richie would do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alcohol is no great story ever started with. I'll have a sound.